Assalamualaikum. Morning guys. Good morning sir. <laughs> Baru. Morning sir. Ayat. Morning. Baru nak discuss benda ni kan. I don't rasa dah something is wrong. So uh, how was it? How was your uh, materials uh, going through? Ada, dah habis belum? Tak habis on Pakistan punya part so. <laughs> Habis kat ye ye as je Sebab tak faham sangat Pakistan tu <laughs> oh, oh so for the Pakistan tu I Macam mana? Okay, Pakistan tu kan I need some clarification uh -huh. um, uh, Maksudnya Pakistan ada dua legal system ke or dia macam islamic law ke macam mana? Dia caca merba lah dia orang <laughs> Oh itu sir Sebab, sebab Madam Kiss Begum tu dia dia macam mention on the doctrine of necessity uh -huh. but, but also at the same time cakap how this doctrine is widely accepted in the islamic jurisprudence so I thought it was macam Sebab dia macam put uh, importance on Islamic jurisprudence Kenapa nak kena mention on Islamic jurisprudence kan? Kalau, uh, so is it kalau, Islamic? Macam tu lah saya faham Dia kalau macam ni lah kita ambil uh, the situation I tak tahu lah ter, terdatang dengan kepala I Dia kata we mm -hmm. look at the situation Rasulullah meninggal Bila mm -hmm. Rasulullah meninggal semua orang jadi panik You know the doctrine of necessity was uh, I think used by by uh, Sadina Abu Bakar mm -hmm. So uh, the fear that everything will collapse uh, it is being used So uh, this doctrine of necessity is reflected dalam dalam law Whenever there is no government, when there is a vacuum you know uh, mm -hmm. especially kalau revolution when there is a revolution yang people punya revolution right when they revolt against the government there will be no no government obviously eh, bila when there is no government dia jadi macam vacuum now vacuum yang mm -hmm. boleh anyone come in to uh, fill in sebab tak ada government you know anyone who wants to be the leader can be the leader if they are able to control the situation okay, okay. The, the same thing okay. dengan ni lah kalau uh, hope, yeah, hope is a group of people who took over the government uh, the same with emergency, anyone who can declare an emergency in order for them to be in power because we are talking about power here from the first week kita, kita belajar it is about who is able to control the power, betul? betul uh, it's about controlling the law kan, it's about law is powerful law is power, so if you can utilize the law in order for you to control law then uh, you are going to be above the law so, uh, coup, new government, revolution, emergency, other position that you want power to be in your hands in order for you to do things. Now, that thing that you wanted to do is something of a subjective nature. It can be either for the good or for the bad. But most of the time yang kalau kita tengok, uh, kalau kita tengok sekarang Trump, kalau kita tengok uh, kerajaan kita sekarang, uh, we are talking about the negative rather than the positive. Mm -hmm. Irrespective of what argument that they want to raise in saying that it is justified, uh, it is something of necessity, you know, <laughs> they create mm -hmm. the team near situation, right? They say, I need to do this, you have to give me the power. Sama lah dengan kita tengok Hitler pun. Hitler pun, they bagi in a situation, they bak, they bak, people say that they memang tactical lah, they bak, uh, apa, parliament. Sama dengan dengan Trump buat dekat capital tu kan? uh, the same thing you know that the, the, the history will repeat itself no that, there is no apa two thing new new things it will repeat and repeat and repeat repeat again kesian kan kita i think like we lack of understanding kot what the history that's why we repeat yeah. it satu yeah. yes the, I, I agree with you because the nature that we are, in the nature that kita tak pernah, you know, <sighs> tak tahu. But dia macam even though kita belajar, tapi kita tak belajar juga at the same time. Like <laughs> only a few yang belajar. Mm. 
uh, the problem with us is that only a few is aware uh, in our discussion that uh, Nazim dah start dah. Cik Nazim dia memang anti anti the situation, you know, the discussion in our <laughs> academic group. Uh, what we will be facing is something that is unclear, you know. We never know what is inside a person's mind, a person's intention, right? So we were hoping that uh, they would be able to uh, to do things that is great lah. Uh, just look at this uh, mulam mulam uh, Muhammad. And when I do the apa, when I do the, the reading, suddenly I start to realize that he confounded Mahindra and Muhammad, 1945. Later it becomes Mahindra and Mahindra. Let's look at Mahindra and Mahindra. I don't know whether you are familiar with Mahindra, the heavy duty uh, apa, machinery company. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, the revenue was 13 billion US. And you know what? He, wow. was, <laughs> he, he confounded the, the, the company with Mahindra and uh, Mohammed before he went off to Pakistan. Obviously, some element of uh, you know interest would be inside in order for you to control your power that is why if you read pakistan uh, malim malim uh, muhammad is the one that if you look at the list that i have given you right mm -hmm. so uh, he is the apa uh, the uh, he is actually governor general right since he is the governor general, he is very, very powerful in, in Pakistan. And all the thing that happens after one case after another uh, is about people uh, starting with coup in order for to, them to control the country. One coup after another. Hmm. Bye guys. So macam mana dah, dah habis material? <laughs> Ada macam-macam lah dalam dunia ni. What is going to happen to our world? People who wants to be in power. Uh, that's why I think you're lucky lah to be uh, studying about politics, eh? law and politics. Nah, uh, comment, any comment about what is happening? I want to hear your comments, sir. <laughs> oh, what's happening, sir? <laughs> From the first day when we started this class, which I told you, I have no idea about politics. I don't know a thing about politics. But uh, the way I see it as, uh, you know, I've been forced to, to teach you about politics. So I was wondering, okay, I hate politics because uh, all this while, uh, politics does not bring any you know, good result to the society. That is why I, politics is very far away from my mind and my heart. Uh, but since uh, kita nak kena belajar kan, when I was trying to think about why rather than what, uh, what is politics, right? I don't need to know about what is politics. Obviously, the nitty gritty of politics is uh, very uh, vast uh, since I'm the one that is going to go into this uh, teaching uh, of politics, right? So I was asking about why, why politics, you know, and then from that basis, when we do the uh, research, uh, when when we do the study together, we start to realize that it is just a mere controlling of power. Yeah? So which I mentioned in the first class, and I will always stick it uh, to that that we we see politician what they want to do is not to to change the society, yeah, but they want to, what they call it, to control the society, to be in power. As compared to a certain uh, members of the society, eh? kalau kita tengok Muhammad Ali Jina, and it, yeah? where was that? Everything is actually uh, linked together, you know. When I see uh, this, what they call it, the politics that we have in this world, everything is more or less related. 
Okay. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, you, everyone knows, right? Are you familiar with Muhammad Ali Jinnah? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, by nature, he is a supper. By edu uh, education. Come He's a barrister of uh, England and Wales, eh? Okay, he's a lawyer. Let's see what he he did. So, no, if you look at uh, Pakistan and India, obviously they have divided eh, the red cliff line. And then you will see those people who are uh, Muslim want us to go wanted to go to Pakistan. The one that is staying uh, Indian that is staying in uh, Pakistan wants to go back to uh, India. Uh, where was it? Yeah. Although Pakistan was born in bloodshed and turmoil, it survived the initial and difficult uh, months after partition only because the tremendous sacrifice made by its people and the selfless, selfless effort of its great leader, Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Uh, he actually uh, facilitate in order for millions of people uh, to cross over because when when you look at uh, Gandhi uh, the movie you will see whenever the uh, partition was uh, created then uh, when people crossing this uh, line uh, the Indian kills the Muslim the Muslim kills the Indian so much he wire took place you know uh, 500,000 the massacre uh, was 500,000. Now, uh, what is that got to do with our uh, situation that we are learning? Uh, we have to bear in mind that when it comes to power, whether you are able to abuse or use the power that you, that was given is something that is so crucial. And the way I see it, until today, I don't believe in politics, but we have to learn politics, we people in law, we have to uh, learn about politics because politics is so, uh, you know, so relevant. That is, uh, we cannot allow the situation of power to be abused. You know, you are going to be judges, lawyers. You are the one that is going to uh, more or less uh, challenge the norm, yeah? uh, challenge the the situation that is uh, stated uh, in our society. So if we were to have politician taking over the country, then it, it has to be contested. So maybe perhaps as what I said, history will always repeat itself. Uh, when you were, uh, you know, practicing late, uh, when you are going to practice later on, the same thing might happen. Uh, whenever you are becoming a judge, another 30 years down the road, maybe you are the federal court judge, you are going to face this, this kind of situation because People will always want power, you know. We at the law, we are to regulate the the situation of people who wants to be in power. That is why we have to learn about politics. That is why politics is important for us. Okay, that I think that is my comment. Any comment from you guys? <laughs> What do you think uh, about uh, okay? Kalau kita tengok the question that I put up this morning, right? Uh, where was it? Okay, what category uh, of title appropriate for the materials I've given you? What would be the title? Yes, sabotaging. Ah, uh, okay, uh, sabotage. Okay, tapi better, the, uh, one word that is uh, being used normally when it comes to a situation of people taking control of the country, irrespective whether it's for good or not. Kalau um, yeah. I don't know sir, the appropriate title, uh, abuse of power? Abuse of power, yes. Yeah. Uh, that is the content of the title. Mm. Start with C. Cool, is Yeah, it is about coup. You know, taking over the country. 
in order for you to be able to be in power. So it, you can call it revolution, but revolution is taking place by a mass of group of people, right? So it, normally a revolution, uh, the opinion foundation is about the people. Uh, coup is about uh, a group of people, you know, taking over a country. And uh, emergency uh, is, a, is a legal way of coup. <laughs> <laughs> emergency is just uh, a legal uh, word for coup, uh, uh, official coup, we call it uh, emergency. Yeah, lah, you can think of the withdrawal, right? In our politics that we see today, the balance, memang hanging punya situation lah. One hundred and... One So, what do you guys think? Saya shock. Ah? Huh? Saya terkejut. <laughs> bangun bangun jam cini. Oh. Ado. What is happening? Eh? No. Tapi bagi saya, it's a good decision, so. It's a good decision in time. Awak ha ham cuma ni? Because. Uh -uh. So kita sekarang tengah cakap sedar berat ni kan? Ya. Yeah. Okay. So it's a good decision sebab uh, with political problem keep on going. Mm -hmm. Like all these politician, they don't know when to stop. Yeah. People don't want it. They should understand that people don't want it. Ya. Yeah. So, and the government cannot do anything about it anymore. Like we didn't cannot do anything about it anymore. So the only thing that they can do right now is keluarkan dia dah berat. Because if not, Zain Hamidi will keep on being him. Abang Masa yeah. Abang keep on giving the stupid statement Yeah, And then yeah, probably yeah. just keep going on So the darurat will at least stop them Because if they do anything, they will just simply going against the pelambagaan lah Okay uh, it's, it's a good point, it's a good point I'm not saying that I am against it uh, It's just that I have problem with that statement uh, You cuba bayangkan eh uh, now they they are taking over for the for the situation to be calm, so called calm, yeah, quote unquote. Now uh, the situation where we are in right now uh, about COVID, in order for us to control COVID, number one question is that uh, people, countries all over the world, tak ada pun declare emergency in order for them to control COVID. Now, we have to control COVID by virtue of uh, emergency in order for us to control the spread of uh, COVID. Because whenever you have uh, uh, election during COVID, we know for the, uh, for example, what we now suffering, the 3,000, 2,000, is because of the Sabah election. Now, if we were to have an election, uh, the general election, Obviously, we every one of us is going to be exposed to some kind of uh, exposure of COVID, right? Especially COVID yang strain, uh, England yang strain dah masuk dah. Okay, uh, December dah masuk. So, it's going to be very, very fast. So, what I want to uh, say is, if they were to do good, then it is okay. But situation of politics, uh, in terms of you know, haywire between this group of people, they want to control, it's all about control of power. Whenever you have control of power, that is where you can see how far that you can go in terms of uh, making money. Uh, hopefully, they are not doing that, uh, but I can see that that is the underlying uh, apa, argument that they want to, uh, to, to do things. Yeah, that is the kata, hidden agenda. Uh, hopefully, uh, because you can always uh, discuss in parliament to to con to apa, delay the apa, uh, general election if you were to have that situation. This is where the Yang uh, di what do you call it, role is very important. But since the declaration is already given and the support was already given, then we can see lah uh, the situation that we. We have to look and wait. Uh, we wait and look. Eh? Uh, wait and look and look or wait. <laughs> so we have to see the things, how it goes about. Because when you declare uh, emergency, it is very difficult for you to, to withdraw. Because uh, the young, as what I really posted eh, when it comes to uh, Cik Nazim punya perspective, 
uh, you cannot simply have a, a declaration to, we, to be withdrawn when there is a parliament that is still uh, sitting. So, teach and pop your case, you know. How can you have two people that is running the country when you have a declaration of emergency? So th that issue will be an issue that can be brought to the federal court in order to co be contested. We, yeah, it opens up the, the argument. Yang penting ni, we want to, I want to relate is, you declare kata kita ada MCO, and then today pukul lima baru you nak keluar procedure on how uh, the society or the companies yeah, you know, the industry is to tackle the, what do you call it, uh, the SOP. You keluar declaration that uh, tomorrow is going to be the, uh, what do you call it, uh, MCO back again. But yet, you cannot come up with the procedure prior to that. It, ha it has to come in together. You tak boleh nak kata, oh, uh, kami tak tahu macam mana nak buat. We, when we already have our MCO prior to this, right? So, I really wonder, do they really know how to run the country? Because uh, everything is in haywire. If you look at other countries, they are very organized. Why can we be organized? Because if you are talking about political struggle, fine. You know, but the agency, the people, the, the institution that we have, in order for them to regulate the behavior of certain, uh, apa, certain sectors of our society, must be able to do their job which I am saying that they are unable to show that they are able to do the job. Okay, we are in a, in a, in a dilemma. We are in a big uh, problem. What we need to do is to have an organization uh, or organized uh, institution, which we are not seeing. Comment? Mm, saya bersetuju sebab sampai sekarang mak bapak saya tak tahu lagi taskar buka ke tak besok. Betul. <laughs> I mean, uh, itu, itu taska one thing. What about the industry, which is more important? You see, kalau you check the news, you're looking at uh, Indonesia, they have managed to get billions of uh, investment, US. Billions of US into uh, in the investment of foreign countries, into their, their country within the COVID. You know very well that Indonesia is not, is not good or they have no idea how to control COVID as compared to us. But how come we are in a position of better in terms of how we are able to control our COVID, but still there is no uh, investment that is coming in. That is very troublesome. We are going down the, the drain. If we cannot uh, pull out with this situation of economic where we can have people to invest in our country while we're having this uh, problem, uh, is it going to be uh, very detrimental to our GDP? Uh, this is what uh, we have to worry about. Well, after all, we are looking at the uh, well-being of the citizens as compared to those yang in power lang tak pergi kat dia orang lah. That is how they want to play the game. But their game that they are playing is actually, you know, uh, having the negative effect to the economy in terms of investment, in terms of uh, the ability for people to survive, you know, uh, there is no clear direction of what we need to do in terms of uh, the banks, uh, restructuring, uh, the debt, you know. Uh, they just allow a, mono, a morato moratorium uh, thing. It doesn't uh, hold on long because people don't have money. Okay, that, that is way, the way I see it. Lah. Any comments from you guys? Sorry, uh, dah panjang buat cerita ni. <laughs> you all macam mana? So, yeah. Yeah. so my comment is that if emergency is declared, the federal, the federal, the kerajaan persekutuan akan ada power dekat Sabah and Sarawak and Sabah itself right now is already very struggling and I don't know how this emergency is going to be working, going to be helping the slightest bit with um... Yeah, it's about the plan. 
uh, whatever mode that you choose in order for you to run the country, you have to have a concrete plan. Anyone who can take over the country would have to follow the plan. The plan of what? The plan of uh, uh, reviving our industry, re, uh, controlling COVID, uh, 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 what they call it, expansion, you know, the, the same thing, you know, you don't have to worry about any government coming in and the ability to follow whatever step that has been taken to control uh, COVID, you know. Uh, COVID is, is what they call it, not, not related to the to the political uh, to po uh, the political uh, status of the society, we can proceed. It's just the the issue here is about the in inability for you to come to a good, proper, and decisive plan. You know, not only this is only for a few days. Pun dah you dah tak tahu what, what you need to do. You know. Everyone is in limbo. What? 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 Wah, well, kita dah ada dah MCO dulu. Why? 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 Is, I have this difficulty of not knowing what needs to be done. You know. Uh, you see, uh, it's about direction. It's about a person that is able to give a proper direction in order for it to be uh, apa, a sm a smooth uh, process. And that is the way I see it lah. Especially and people like Cynthia Cynthia Gata Sabah is struggling, right? Do you want chaos to happen? Do you have this so-called emergency in order to prevent that? But the taking by virtue of your emergency does not reflect the capability that you have been doing all this while. Okay, I, I don't know. That is my comment. Lah. Any comments from the floor? Mm, so, so I also oh. uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Tama, go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. Tama? Ah, ah, okay. Tak, so, macam, ni memang, kerajaan ni memang setiap bodoh ke apa? Memang saya, like, dia orang macam, Apa untung yang orang dapat sebenarnya daripada tu? Eh, hey, jangan. Saya dah tunjuk kat you. Untung dia macam mana? Untung dia bagus tau. It's a good business. Uh, this is a good business. If you are able to control the economy. When you are controlling the economy, you can get billions. People of power means if you are in politics, obviously it's all about money. You know? Net income, uh, you know, this, this are, we are talking about billions of money, you know, contracts, and then you see, you know, uh, what to Najib, you know, uh, the apa, defense project, defense contract, kita punya submarine. If you look at things that is happening, everything is tied up together. Is it, is it, um, sir? Yeah. Is it billions of money coming from this emergency or? Is it, you know, like anything else? Is it because of this emergency we're going to gain a lot more money? No, they are going to get so, lots of money. Yeah, the the the, the politicians, the government's yeah. going to get a lot more money yeah. by this emergency saying, yes, declaring emergency. Oh my gosh, what a way to earn power! What a way to be people, more dumb people and lose confidence. People in power, they don't care about other people. They, they are so selfish that they don't mind people struggling to survive. You know, that is what they call it. Uh, there, is a, uh, there is a theory on that because uh, when you are a narcissistic uh, behavior, you don't care about other people. You just don't care about what is going to happen because things will happen. People will die. People will be in suffering. That is something that is a norm in our uh, living in this earth. So why trouble yourself to go and solve the problem? You cannot solve everyone's problem. So why why do in the first place? So that kind of attitude, if you look around and you read and then you will see people in power, they have this that mind, mindset that they just want to control and take care about themselves, take care about their groups of uh, members, uh, family members and so on in order for them to be in power, in order for them to get as much money as possible. But the rest of the people, 
come on, we 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 might be saying, come on, how can how can you do not think about those poor people? You know, don't have any food, don't have any place, don't have any good job. People are being abused by their employers. People are being abused by their family members. You know, women being abused by men. Those kind of things are very petty to them. They don't see it as a big problem that they have to solve, because the way they see it, uh, it will be a never-ending story. If I were to do it, it will come back again. So why, why trouble? <laughs> but to be honest, sir, yeah. right now, even if there was an election and a chance to change the country, I will literally tell my parent parents to not go out to vote because Obviously. not because. Because there's so many things that going on that, uh, you know, like there's really no need for mengundian sekarang. Despite the government is like currently like this, and because I don't think that there's any member in that house that I want to vote. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Because uh, every party is literally the same. <laughs> yeah, remember I told you about my story dengan selayang punya uh, member of uh, parliament, the candidate. You know, boleh dia duduk dengan I we we, we together, right? I I dah cakap dengan you kan? Haa, dah cerita. Ah, can, can you imagine what is in their mind? They are not they are not there to take care of us. They are just to take care of their set themselves. I personally think power corrupts the mind. Like you know, maybe our our mungkin ada like your intentions but like when when you are at that place at that high place you can't much um you know be you can't come to your roots though because like yeah. everything has a benefit so much um the benefits are clearer so <laughs> instead of helping at this it's best for you to just you know be comfortable in be more comfortable with it too the last that last Uh, uh, yeah. What, Ali, what What are your thoughts on um, Ahmad Mazlan statement? Ah, uh, he is a stupid person. Uh, <laughs> a very tak arrogant. They are very arrogant serious person. Ah, uh, that means seriously, tak bijak. I you use that argument. Jika orang yang buat master dengan three point. Oh, banyak three point eight eh. Three point eight five sir. Ah, uh, three point eight. Come on, man. Every master, you buat master. Memang you akan habis dengan three point eight pun. It is a master. Master memang senang gila. You guys, mm-hmm. oh, memang serious. I'm ta- I'm telling you, if you guys were to do your master, you tak akan uh, ada three pointer punya situation because you cannot graduate if you are three pointer. The chances you ambil paper, semua dapat A. A, A plus, A minus, A. Tak ada B je. Uh, nah, because you your minimum requirement untuk buat master is B kalau you nak pass uh, B is only to pass, nampak tak? because when when he make that kind of statement people yang ada master kata awal lah bodoh sangat mamat ni you know, I, I mean oh, he is trying to be boastful he, he, people who, who are boastful uh, we know what is in their mind and hearts You know, saying that I am better than you, you shut up. Uh, <laughs> uh, you you are under me, uh, you are in my control. Uh, just listen to what I'm saying. Can you imagine those type of people we have as our leaders? Nampak? Saya tu sekarang juga betul nampak muka Zaid Ami dirasa macam nak baling TV tu. Betul, betul. Like, kalau... Like dia punya konstitusi tu undi lagi orang macam ni tak tahulah ni siapa dah. Tapi uh, believe me or not, uh, do, there are majority of people who are in that manner that is still having the mindset of being easily controlled. Dia tengok Trump cukup lah. How can you go along the Trump punya argument when you look every day about his statement that he's making, you know what he said is uh, uh, just lies. Dia tak ada facts, dia tak ada evidence. We in law, we use evidence kan? Dia Ming cakap and yet he control the opinion of half of the population, the 300 million that they have, he is in control of 150 million. Can you imagine that? That is why he is so confident about himself. People will be backing him up. 
and his trial ni dekat capital is just a trial if it is indeed true kalau dia buat emergency uh, in in uh, in the news today uh, that shows that dia test market yang dia kata pergi attack 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 capital tengok ada orang oh bagus ni Okay, might as well tanya the the legal punya apa people can I do this can I do this can I do this what is the effect here in the then declare Teruk kan? Kesian kan? Ya. Yeah. Uh, basically uh, you guys uh, must be able to bear in mind whatever you do in because you are under law uh, you have to be prepared. Yeah, you have to be prepared if the position that you are in you are not easily uh, manipulated by people. That is all you need to do. Yeah. Kalau you lupakan I, you lupakan this subject is okay. Yeah. What you have to remember is that you do not be easily ma manipulated by people. Use your mind, use your critical analysis in order to investigate because uh, it is easy for us to do that because we learn about how to be critical, how to be analytical. Uh, that must uh, stick in your mind. Yeah, guys? Because as far as political is concerned, they will do whatever they need to in order for them to control the society. We we in law we have to prepare that ourselves in terms of whether we are to support or not support if we were so to support we have our argument why do we support uh, if we were not to support we have why we are not supporting uh, you have to be analytical and critical about it yeah tapi janganlah kata eh i my opinion is right and therefore uh, you have to follow my opinion dia kita jadi macam dia orang we, we are not supposed to be in that manner I pun uh, agak salah lah when I make that statement. Some of you might agree with the situation of the what the government is doing, which I also can uh, appreciate because uh, when it comes to the government movement in terms of how to control COVID, but that does not show any any country in this in this world that is moving towards emergency. <laughs> uh, you know, you can critically uh, critically analyze. Uh, Socrates method is the best way for you to. To analyze things yeah guys so i think uh, i don't want to ho hog you uh, uh because you might have another class so we will discuss this uh further if we want that discussion to be done i just want to hear your opinion and uh for me to shut up i just want to listen to you guys nanti in your our tutorial yeah thank you guys yes sir thank you sir you take care i don't want to opinion sir <laughs> Assalamualaikum. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys.